Yo, let me introduce you the best build for newbies in Dead Cells. This build will help you to finally reach at least 2 BC and definitely understand better how synergies in this game works. This video is pretty much useless for old players, but it is certainly informative for newbies. Before starting the video, I would like to say once again that your likes, comments and subscriptions really help me. And also I have a buy me a coffee page where you can support me financially, so keep that in mind. No pressure though. But now, let me show you the build. First weapon is throwing knife, which inflicts bleeding on enemy's head. It is thrown directly to the enemy, so basically you don't have to aim by yourself, which helps you to kill mobs like flies, fucking explosive things and others. It often gets modifiers like poison or setting enemies on fire. It is a great support weapon that also gets stuck in enemies, which allows it to use powerful tactic mutations. Second weapon is the electric whip. Even though it is now nerfed, it still remains a powerful weapon. It ignores shields, hits enemies around you, shocks them and if enemies are in the water, then it deals critical hits. Besides that, it also aims automatically at the enemies. You can also get the affix of plus 60% damage on bleeding enemies, which could really be helpful because of the throwing knife. And you can also get plus 60% damage on rooted targets, and that will definitely help you, because one of the skills we'll be using is Wolf Trap. It roots an enemy for 5 seconds and also deals additional damage to it. It can also have some affixes that will create a poison gas or spread inflammable oil. Second skill is Sinew Slicer, which deploys a turret to shoot at enemies, making them bleed. Bleeding is the main part of this build and it is a dot, or also known as damage over time. As long as an enemy is bleeding, he will constantly lose HP. By having throwing knife and Sinew Slicer, you can make an enemy have 5 dots at the same time. And in that cells, we have a beautiful mechanic that deals all the damage that should be given over time to an enemy whenever an enemy has 5 dots. So basically you can make them lose a lot of HP when using the throwing knife and the sinew slicer that both make enemies bleed. So in a nutshell, every couple seconds you will deal a ton of damage to an enemy thanks to the stack of dots. Well, in case of the situation, fighting a boss or clearing a location, you will have to reset your mutations and choose another ones. One of the main mutations you should be using is Combo, which is a brutal mutation and increases your damage for a period of time whenever you kill an enemy. Don't worry that this is a brutal mutation, it also works with tactical weapons. Near the mid of the game you will have additional 20% of the given damage to an enemy. Second mutation is Hunter's Instinct, which decreases kill cooldowns whenever you kill an enemy with ranged weapons. It will allow you to use your skills more often. Also if you have some blueprints for new mutations, you could use No Mercy, that executes an enemy whenever his HP is below 15% or any boss whenever his HP is below 7.5%. You could also use networking, which makes enemies with arrows stuck in them share of the damage they receive. In our case, arrows are nice with throwing. Basically, you can just run through location, throw into every enemy a knife and then hit one of them and all of the enemies that have a knife will get damaged. Barb tips inflicts DPS per arrow stuck to enemies and is in the case with networking, our arrows will be knives. It works really really good and if you don't have any other mutations, you can use it. How should you level up your stats? Well, your main color should be purple, so whenever you have a chance to upgrade it, do it. But if you have the choice between red and green, always choose red because of our combo mutation. Don't worry about the health, trust me that this build doesn't require it at all. You'll have crazy DPS, so health is pretty much useless here. So that's pretty much it guys. If you would like to know why I consider electric whip as the best weapon in Dead Cells, you could watch this video right here. If you have any other questions, write them down in the comments and I will certainly answer them. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, see you in another one.